So community energy, just briefly, is, is a community coming together, avoiding the NIMBYism and saying, yes, we agree to put up, call it uh, 20 onshore wind turbines in our local area, plus a whole bunch of solar and batteries. And then, of course, that local community will benefit because they will get the benefit of the cheap energy or free energy or what have you, which then allows for buy-in. Everybody sees a reduction in their bills. Everybody is very happy and everybody starts watching the windmills uh, and seeing, you know, hey, if it's not if it's not turning, then we have to call a technician out because that's saving me money. And that sort of attitude, I think, is very powerful. And it plugs in with the, you mentioned uh, energy security, right? Well. What's more secure, having a national grid that can be disrupted by bad actors using a little bit of hacking, or locally managed community-owned energy grids for all of the different communities across the world? That's an unhackable system, and it's far more secure than a giant grid running off of a handful of giant power plants.